wanted to make this post in response or to further explain some comments that I got on a post that I made earlier today on my Instagram page where I was talking about I went to a gun store that was still doing uh, ammo purchasing restrictions said he couldn't sell me no more than five boxes even though he had several cases of match grade 77 grain ammo I told him I needed at least 400 rounds or I wasn't going to buy any due to uh, running an SPR this is my SPR it might not be a SPR per se but 20 inch 556 five, suppressed good glass etc etc about the zero process he think I told him you know if I only bought five boxes by the time that I got a a zero established and got some decent data to use the gun I'd basically be out of ammo and he told me well hell I can get a gun on paper in two to three rounds and make a group with the next two rounds but you know people like that also miss deer at 50 yards so what is an SPR that's a special purpose rifle purpose of it is to get precise rounds on target in a hurry um, they come in many different calibers mine is 556 five, with me on it and I'm not that great of a shooter with data on my, on the ammunition that I have I can engage quickly with a rough wind estimation and hit a man within 800 meters or less I may I can go a little further but it starts to get way more difficult with 77 grain and some more stuff in it but like I said why well as we know we have hand guards we have barrels things heat at different rates they move suppressors all that stuff so you need to be able to make sure that your first 10 round group and your second 10 round group and your third round group are the same or close enough to the same if you can do three 10 round groups back to back and keep center to center under an inch you can truly say you have a sub moa rifle with that also being said you could experience moa shift one two a half a quarter not enough to measure but you need to know that data also if you load if you have a bipod on this i don't have the arca rail installed right now but if you load it you could miss by a foot or more at like 100 meters and with that being said you need to whenever you make your ammo selection of whatever you want to run you know 77s is about the gold standard for a 556 five, rifle mainly because of it is a standardized cartridge well it's a standard military cartridge the mark 262 mod o or mod one and for the most part you know for hitting men even if you're going from lot to lot to lot you'll still be within close enough to hit but you know we want to do better than minute of man so like I said, just buying the five boxes there and then coming back and buying five more boxes, they could be from a different lot number. They could be from a different manufacturing date. Uh, the temperature could have been different when they loaded them, changing the humidity inside the cartridge to where you could have, you know, a 10, 15, you know, 50 feet per second difference in between them. It's possible. Now, while at 100 yards, you'll never notice that. But when you're at eight, you know, past the transonic threshold to five, five, six, it makes all the difference in the world. It could be the difference in between your round being stable or not, but you have to test this stuff. Ultimately, like I said, it all depends on you. If 
you're wanting to maximize your performance that you can get out of your rifle you want to make sure that the ammo you are putting in it is as consistent as the shooter that is behind it if you don't have the good data with good ammo and i'm not the best shooter i mean i can do 10 under an inch with this rifle is that me is that the rifle it's both of us could the rifle shoot better possible it's also possible that it could shoot worse my inefficiencies could be lucky and they could actually be working in a conducive manner for the gun but you know that's likely impossible for as many times as the rifle's been shot but you have to test and you have to verify just because you put it into a computer and you run the data and your data says you need to aim 2.3 mils in order to hit the target your scope could require you to only dial 2.1 or 2.5 it depends on how true your scope is now the more money you spend on the rifle chances are on the optic chances are the better that it will be but you have to find out you have to true your data that takes ammo on target this is not something you can learn in a dry fire application so therefore it is not cheap when it comes to hitting stuff with pistols 25 yards and in dry fire is king when it comes to truing your data cards and hitting shit from long range you got to go do it in person also some of you may ask what's the setup for what's it do i mean it's not light it's not heavy i mean it is a 20 inch gas gun you know i'm not zero well top turret zero the windage is not because i'm swapping back and forth in between two ammo types and it only variates left to right but this is zeroed at 100 this is zeroed with it just in case you have to come off of it get a rough a rough view you can pop up look through it get on your target and then pop through the glass and then send rounds and you know if you have to quickly engage a target you know it's roughly 100 go for it that way but offset this is for more gamer shit um it's for, it's zeroed at 25 i want to put something else on it probably the eps people ask me why don't i run you know with this premium rifle build why don't you run better optics long story short is hollow sun makes the best green dot optics you can try and argue with me about it you can try not to but when it comes to them they make the best but you know while we're at it desktop